It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi, guys. Welcome to Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, for GHB in here. Um... Today's video, sent to you from the beach in the Philippines, uh, is um, on Hal Smith, who played Otis Campbell. Uh, very talented actor, uh, great voice actor, and a whole lot more. Let's take a look. If there's one word that comes to mind when thinking about the Andy Griffith show, it's nostalgia. Part of that is successful use of stock characters, including the town drunk Otis Campbell, played by uh, Hal Smith. Uh, he is remembered for his appearance as actually his voice work got his start and elevated him to new heights after the Andy Griffith show. What does Smith's career, career look like at, outside his famous sitcom? Well, he was born Harold John Smith of August 24, 1960, uh, 1916 in Petoskey, Michigan. I'm sure I misspelled, misread that. One of his earliest definitive uh, career moves came about at, at high school when he became a vocal talent for Utica, New York's uh, WIBX radio. His affinity for entertainment stayed with him when he joined the Air Force, planning and directing shows for his brothers in arms. Smith earned the rank of sergeant before he returned to the U.S. and uh, dove right into television work. His acting debut was in 1946 as Stars Over Texas. The first pebble in an avalanche of roles spread evenly between TV, film, animation, and video games. Smith would appear in film after film for the next two decades, but the majority of the roles were uncredited in generic titles like Cook or Bartender. His television credits were a bit better. He held various roles in The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet and crossed almost 30 episodes. He also had named roles in Bonanza, Perry Mason, and Gunsmoke. This prelude was followed quickly by 32 episodes across six years as Otis Campbell in The Andy Griffith Show. Campbell's inebriation became such a common dilemma the six-foot-five man would uh, let himself into his own uh, designated cell the same way in, uh, someone collapses on the living room couch after a day of work. In contrast to this, Smith himself was decidedly sober, never drank in his personal life. Unfortunately, his life choice uh, was not evident to viewers or sponsors, so Otis appeared less and less as time went on because sponsors grew concerned about presenting drunkenness as simply an entertaining joke. After 66, Smith stopped appearing on the Andy Griffith Show altogether, but his career marched on, and his filmography became to include favorites like Wagon Trail, The Addams Family, Petticoat Junction, Adam 12, The Brady Bunch, and Little House on the Prairie. His last TV credit was 1987's Highway to Heaven, but even when Smith was not seen, he was definitely heard. Following the Andy Griffith Show, Smith continued to accumulate movie credits, though they were still mostly uncredited, this did happen less and less frequently. His last film in 1988, 18 again, as Herb. His fame continued thanks to the talent that kicked off his career in the first place, his voice. He's been in productions by Hanna-Barbera, Warner Brothers, Walt Disney, and more. In short, most cartoons out there. Additionally, he was the voice of Al for several editions of Winnie the Pooh. Smith's career really went full circle with some unexpected twists along the way starting as a voice talent before becoming Otis Campbell, who was beloved but difficult to deal with, then back to the wholesome voice work. In fact, one of his final credit cuts was Philip the Horse and Disney's Beauty and the Beast. He was one of the most highly demanded voice actors in the industry thanks to his versatility, and that is partly in how he is remembered years after his death, that very same year of 94 at the age of 77. Almost fittingly, his agent Don Pitts said Smith had been listening to a radio drama when he suffered a heart attack and died at home. Al Smith will always be fondly remembered as Otis Campbell and as many mother more. And that was it. Uh, the man was quite inspiring, but I thought the idea that uh, him playing the drunk uh, was a bad, I don't know. It was funny and it would always be funny. Uh, the reason he was 
over in the movie, uh, the return to Mayberry, is because Andy wasn't going to have him on it at all until they made him sober. So, same seems silly to me. Anyway, that's all I got for you. Please don't forget about classic rock and country music, facts and trivia. Uh, link is in the description below. Head down there and get it. Go on over there and make sure you subscribe. Have a great day. God bless. I'll be praying for you. Thank you.